everyone, welcome to Welcome Tech channel. My name is Elizaveta. On this channel, we are sharing with you all the important information that you need to know to apply for the Global Talent Visa. And today we will be talking about something that is more interesting for people who already got their visas, but when, if you, even if you didn't get it uh, yet. So you need to consider that before making a decision to apply for the Global Talent Visa, especially if you are considering getting a passport after you got your visa. Today we will be talking about uh, getting a passport, what mistakes you should avoid to not to ruin this process and yeah, so let's start talking about that. Before you get your passport itself, you will first need to switch to IOR. So basically this process consists of three stages. So first stage is your like residence permit, is a global talent visa, the visa that gives you an opportunity to work in the UK and um, I live in the UK. Any visa that gives you an opportunity to work in the UK uh, may lead to uh, another stages. But it's very important to be able to work because if you have a student visa, you can pay taxes. So that's why you can work, you can pay taxes. So that's why like, uh, you will not get this visa, uh, your passport and reason and IOR so easily. The second stage is indefinite leave to remain. It's called ILR. Uh, so this is the status that is like a pre-passport status. So you are more free. You are uh, like you are more free of doing things um, in the UK, but it's still not a passport thing. So before you get your passport, you need to st uh, first switch to uh, indefinite leave to remain. And after you uh, spend some time on indefinite leave to remain, you will get your passport. If you're talking about the global talent visa specifically, so what are the um, like supposed plots of getting the visa, of getting your passport? So the first one, if you have an exceptional talent visa. So if you get an exceptional talent visa, this uh, is one, one of the few visas in the UK that give you an opportunity to get your visa, uh, to get your indefinite leave to remain, not after five years, like a skilled worker, like in any other type of visa, but after three years. So it's like faster. So if you get your exceptional talent visa in perfect condition, you will need to spend three years on your global talent visa, then two years on your indefinite leave to remain, because you need to have a total of five years before getting a passport. And then you can get your passport after five years and living with this visa. If you have an exceptional promise visa, it's a little bit uh, different because you will need to uh, spend five years on global talent visa. Then after these five years, you will uh, get your indefinite leave to remain uh, and you will spend at least one year. So there is a limit. You need to have at least five years of total living in the UK to get your passport. And you need to, uh, at least one year on uh, indefinite leave to remain to get your passport too. So you will do like uh, five years in the visa, then one year on in, um, indefinite leave to remain, and then you will get your passport. Five years for the exceptional talent visa and six years for exceptional promise visa. What about your dependents, your spouse and uh, or partner and children? So how it works for them? They do not have this uh, bonus of three year uh, process uh, before your leave to remain. They will still, uh, either way, they will still need to have five years. So if you get an exceptional talent visa, they will spend three years on global talent dependent visa and you get your indefinite leave to remain, but they get, have another type of dependent visas. It will be like indefinite leave to remain dependent visa. And then after they have five years in total, you get your passport and they get their indefinite leave to remain. And after that, they get you, you, their passport. So just one year longer. Talking about uh, the exceptional promise visa, you will get uh, uh, your passport and they will get their passport this, um, approximately at the same time. So you will spend five years in the visa, they will do two, then one year in different left to remain, and then passport. 
So this is the process. And what to do to get your passport? Like what are the uh, what are the conditions of getting the passport? So there are basically three rules to get your passport. So the first one is uh, to be present in the UK for 180 days each year. Right, so it's a half of the year. In the year, you should be present in the UK, so you will be uh, able to get this visa. This is the first one, and the second one is to pay your taxes. Of course, uh, it is not the same. Like the first uh, condition and the second, they are not uh, the same thing because it's the same thing in the uh, European Union, but not in the UK. Sometimes you start paying taxes just when you move to the UK. So you really need to talk to your like tax consultant or your lawyer about that. It's very important. You need to pay your taxes. And this the third thing is to, um, and which is very important, you will need to show that for these three or five years, you have worked in, um, you have worked in the field that you have uh, been firstly like accepted on so if you got your endorsement on digital technology you can be you cannot be tra taxi driver <laughs> or you see or if you got your like arts and culture thing you cannot switch to uh medicine you see so you will need to show that for these five or three years you have worked in a field that you got your endorsement for in the first place. So you will need to prepare all this documentation. You will need to prepare maybe some contracts uh, with your position. You will need pay, uh, to prepare your like prove that you've paid taxes and stuff like that, all the other things. And then you will need to apply for ILR. And in this case, you will be accepted for that and you will get your indefinite leave to remain. And then you will need to switch the passport. So these are very important things to mention before you make a decision on getting your global talent visa. So yeah, these are um, top rules for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested to start the process of getting a global talent visa, you can contact us for a free consultation. And have a great day.